Hey, good afternoon folks. Vic here for ThePracticalPrepper.com. I'm about to build the nesting boxes for our chickens. They're going to be ready here to start laying probably within another month. But I wanted to get them built and uh, the box is kind of painted up and ready to go. Uh, I can also install them and put some screen over them so that they don't use them right away. Um, we've kind of got them trained to go to the upper roost now. so. They're flying there. I want to confirm that they're doing that every night. So once they're flying to that roost, I'm not going to find them down in the nesting boxes where, uh, or the laying boxes where I don't want them. So what we're doing is something pretty close to what I saw online. And like with YouTube, you can find a million ways to build a nesting box and just about out of anything. The thing that I liked using was the uh, plastic tray. And I'll show you one real quick. This is... Uh, this is a Sterilite 12 quart, and uh, I got this from Black Dog Indy, Black Dog Indy.com on YouTube, and uh, he used these as the nesting boxes with some straw in them, and uh, they they pop in and pop out, so it's it's really nice to clean. If you got a broken egg, you can take this whole thing out, wash it, clean it, dry it out, new straw right back into production. Um, it's not like you have to empty out a a wooden bottomed box and try to clean it. We thought this was pretty slick so we're going to make something an idea like of how this is going to going to work out. We're going to have our plan is to have four nesting boxes. And we're going to build them in uh, one one frame all together. And um, what we're going to have is four different boxes, two, three, four. So we're going to run four boxes. It's going to be perched 12 inches off the ground. So this being the floor, we're going to put a little kicker plate. I've got some extra lumber. It's going to have the, uh, the 12 inch raised and then the other portion will be 12 inches above it. Um, unique to all the boxes is that if you if you look at, at an individual box just by itself what we're going to have is there's going to be a, a one by two that runs all the way around the inside and actually sticks out past the end of the plywood It'll have a piece that comes back across the front, which is a small piece of wood that the birds can hop up on and then step into where the bin is. So the bins, looking at this just straight on an end view, there'll be a rail on either side. The tub sits inside the rail, and the edges of the tub rest on this rail system. There's one along the back as well. And so on three points, uh, a top view would have a rail, well it would have a rail here, across the back, out the front, and then across. The tub would rest all along this rail and then right across here would be the end of the tub. So the birds can hop up on here and go into the, into the tub itself. The nice thing is the tubs are just removable. Just reach in and pop it out. If it becomes unusable or you need to clean it, pop it in. If it gets damaged, just slip a new one in um, and you're ready to go again. So the design's pretty easy. Um, and I think, I think it's gonna be pretty simple to build. Uh, we're gonna start assembling the, the box itself. And once that's all in, I'm gonna glue and use a, a air nailer I've got once we get all that put together, then we'll start fitting up the rail system and make sure all the dimensions inside work. But we'll, we'll show you a little bit of that, how that goes together. So we'll show you some construction as we go and then we'll get it all painted and uh, put, in, uh, put in the coop and, and you'll see it finally installed. Um, I painted most everything I put in the coop. I know I see a lot of stuff, it's just raw wood thrown in there. Um, the painting, if you prime it and you paint it with a, a decent paint, just a water-based, uh, enamel is um, 
really easy to clean up. Um, you know, bird crap, whatever you want on it. Whatever gets on it, it's pretty easy to clean up with a little soap and water. And I think it makes your, your lumber last a lot longer and shows dirt quicker. So maybe you need to attend more to cleaning your coop a little more than you think you do. So um, stick around and we'll show you some more as we put it together. Okay, folks, I'm going to stop right at this point and kind of review what we've done so far. We've, uh, we've cut out uh, one sheet of the uh, OSB board. It's half inch. And we use one sheet to, to basically build it all, and we have a couple little pieces left over. Um, basically, cut it all out and uh, put it together. Um, each one of these is uh, 24 inches high. So we've got the first, this first round here is at 12 inches off, and then they've got about 12 inches above it. So um, that seemed to work out pretty well, and we got 12 inches wide. So we've got a pretty nice compartment for them. Um, you know, really, this. It's a pretty economical way to do this. Um, the, the sheet of OSB at uh, Home Depot was uh, 10 bucks. Uh, there's probably not more than about four bucks. Yeah, four bucks. I'd say maybe six in uh, one by two. And uh, these bins, the Sterilite bins at uh, Walmart were buck 87 each. And uh, the nice thing is you've got, you've got a front and a rear support for it and it basically rests on this edge this edge and the back and you just drop it in and it's all set and as you can see it can support a pretty big bird uh, just add a little straw and you're ready to go uh, nice thing is this thing will just sit right on the floor um, I put this in pretty much because I don't want the birds pecking in around the bottom I want to keep them out of there um, The trickiest thing I think about the whole thing was getting all of this one by two railing um, square level and installed in a way that this that your uh, your little bins don't tip. So make sure it's it's level across and square. Um, that's probably the <coughs> this is probably the trickiest stuff to get in. The other stuff went together real well. It's uh, glue and I use uh, inch and a half brads with an air nailer and uh, that makes it pretty quick. So. Um, we got it to this point. Now, what we're going to do here is well, I've got it glued and nailed. I'm going to let it set, and then we will paint it. We'll prime it, and then we'll paint it. Um, I've got some white left over from some other projects, so we'll paint it out, and we'll throw it in the uh, throw it in the coop, and uh, should be ready to go. The nice thing is that I can duplicate this set right here above it if I wanted to do another four nesting boxes, but I think four will probably be okay. Um, kind of what our, <clears throat> some of our plans above this is to probably put a a smaller two foot by four foot cage and then a smaller say 12 by 12 or maybe 20 by 20 cage on the end and uh, use that as uh, a brooder. If we uh, do some more checks we can do them right in the right in the coop uh, to replenish the stock or <clears throat> do something different. So we have some plans above this in the coop to kind of fill in some spots and give us more capability. But um, we'll get this thing primed and painted and give it give it a look see, and then we'll uh, we'll show you when it gets when we install it into the uh, coop. All right, so stick with us and um, hang around to the end of this thing. All right, take care. Okay, so here's the final step. We've uh, we've moved into the nesting boxes into the uh, into the coop. It's just going to fit against one wall, and uh, this isn't nailed down or screwed down or anything. It's it's pretty heavy. The birds all have a pretty low center of gravity, so I don't think it's going to tip over at all. It's actually pretty sturdy. Um, so here's here's the baskets. So here's the little pans. And you can see we've just added some straw to them, and uh, they just drop in, put them in place, and wait for the eggs. So we just put these in uh, September 1st. That was our plan. We um, they should start laying sometime this month. <clears throat> but I wanted to get this in so it was in front of them. So um, it's in place. It's it's actually turned out really well, and I think it's very simple. And um, like I say, it's uh, I think it will last a very long time. Um, we had a couple droppings up here, so 
if they start roosting, I'm just going to build a little quickie angle thing to go on each end. And uh, just a piece of something here to where they can't roost up here. Um, we've cleaned it off, so we're going to watch it. We know we got two birds that aren't flying up to the full roost. They're usually in this corner. and We come in here at night and put them on the roost. But they haven't, I don't think they've quite got that down yet. So those may have been the two up here. So I think the project worked out really well. Um, if you want any more information, let me know. But I, I think this nesting box is quick, it's simple. Um, like I said, the only precision was just getting all of these pieces right here equal on a level so the tubs sit and are fully supported on all three points. Uh, other than that, I think it's an easy little weekend project. Okay, that's it for now. That's it on the nesting boxes. Uh, let me know if you want inform more information and I will get it to you. And um, take care and we'll see you next time.